Hey, welcome to the channel, The Pop Enthusiast. I am Paul, and in today's video, we're gonna have a conversation together. This might be a difficult conversation, but it needs to happen. It's about Bob Ross. It's about the most recent documentary that just was released on Netflix. So let's get to it. So first off, I wanna say a couple things. One is that uh, anything I say in this video are my opinions and mine alone based on watching the, the most recent Netflix documentary, uh, Bob Ross, Happy Accidents, Betrayal, and Greed. So if you have not seen the documentary yet, pause this video, go watch it. It's about an hour and a half. Come back and, and, and join the discussion about it. You may have heard about it. You may have already seen it. Uh, so that's one thing. The second thing, I do want to give kind of unrelated a shout out to my, um, my in-laws, my mother-in-law and father-in-law, who actually got me this t-shirt uh with the pop enthusiast name and my picture on it so this is a really awesome uh shirt thank you my mom and dad for this so i'm excited about wearing this in a video so thank you again okay so the the bob ross documentary so when i saw that they were going to be doing a documentary on bob ross i was excited because bob ross was one of my childhood icons in the 80s i remember as many of you probably do as well watching uh bob ross paint and making it look so easy and here I am as a child trying to paint the same things and it wasn't quite working out the same way probably because I was using watercolors but anyway it was it was part of what had really kindled my passion for art and I still have that passion for art maybe not as much as I uh, used to have but Bob Ross played a significant role in that for me and and he's one of my many childhood idols uh, to include Bruce Lee, Mr. Rogers, uh, and so many other uh, positive icons and role models, Bob Ross is, is up there at the top. And so when I first saw this documentary and then I read the title, the first thought I had was, do not ruin Bob Ross! Please! Do not ruin him! We've already lost uh, other icons and when we find out more about them and who they really are behind the, you know, who we thought they were, uh, the whole adage, never meet your heroes, applies in many instances. However, it turns out that, that, that Bob Ross, thankfully, uh, seems to be the same person that we've all known and loved on camera as he was off. And so, uh, no need to worry about that. This documentary really doesn't have much anything negative to say about Bob himself. Maybe some poor life choices throughout. Uh, but who hasn't, who hasn't made mistakes. So the aura and the kind of the legend of Bob Ross um, can continue unscathed. Where this video, where this documentary really talks about is the alleged conflict between the partners of Bob Ross that really helped him kind of go from a art teacher, uh, teaching art in different uh, learning sessions, to being the TV star that he became and really the, the national icon and international icon that he became. It was really about that conflict and kind of the post Bob Ross after he passed, the conflict between this company, Bob Ross Inc. and the, uh, and the Bob Ross family to include his son who was featured in many different Bob Ross uh, painting episodes and some of his close friends that were involved throughout the years. And so obviously documentaries do one thing really well and that is paint a picture that they want to paint. And so I would never recommend or never suggest that one source of information is the only source that you should look at. However, uh, you know, based on some of the research that I have done and the information pre presented in the documentary, it's looking highly likely that there was conflict and there was some fairly shady things that were done by that company, Bob Rossing, uh, that have served to cut out essentially Bob Ross's son, who, who he had documented wanting to leave his show and his um, kind of legacy to and wanted his son to take over for him and to be better than him and all this kind of stuff. Uh, so it's unfortunate that we only get the perspective of the son and the family. Uh, Bob Ross Inc. chose not to participate, uh, at least initially. And I think they've issued comments after the fact, of course, and then they found out it was gonna be on Netflix and it's gonna be everywhere and people are gonna see it. That's not good PR. And so, of course, they've released some statements denying some of the claims. But at the end of the day, uh, you can't deny the claim that the family was cut out. So I personally have an issue with learning about these things. And also, you may not have known that any Bob Ross merchandise, for the most part, that you might see in retail stores 
is made and owned by this company, Bob Ross Inc. Uh, and I'm sure that Funko themselves, not their, not their fault at all, had to get the licensing rights from this company, Bob Ross Inc., to make these really awesome Bob Ross Funko Pops, which I have all of them, including the Chase, which is on the wall over there as well. And so I don't fault Funko at all for that. That's who the license, who had the license, and that's who they had to get it from. However, you know, I, I personally will make the choice. I can't tell anyone else what to do. I can just say what I'm going to do. You know, I'm personally, unless something changes with that whole dynamic between the company and the family, which it might, based on all the backlash that they've received, you know, I'm personally not going to be purchasing any Bob Ross um, merchandise from that company. So I think I have a Bob Ross mug, uh, a t-shirt, some other items, the breath mints that you might see in some stores, not, not purchasing any of that. So I'm not going to give any of my finances or money to that company. It, they don't seem to be on the up and up, at least again, according to the information that's out there from the documentary and how they've allegedly cut out the family and specifically the son from any kind of earnings uh, for, from Bob, essentially owning Bob Ross's image and his likeness. The family has nothing to do with that. And so I just would imagine thinking if you had a family member, maybe your father or your mother, who was a, whose likeness was owned by a company that you have no connection to. So it just is a really odd situation. Doesn't seem very uncommon though um, in, in certain realms. It kind of reminds me of the, uh, the McDonald's movie with Michael Keaton, which was really awesome. I can't remember the name of it, but it was really depicting how the, McDonald's bro the McDonald brothers kind of got help from Ray Kroc and then they were able to expand from their smaller franchise to kind of the national and international um, behemoth that McDonald's is today. You know, there was some shyster stuff going on and eventually the McDonald's brothers got cut out and it became its own thing. So this is not a new story. It's not something that we haven't heard before, but it's really sad to, to, to hear it and to see it happen to, to such a uh, kind of almost innocent icon and figure uh, as Bob Ross and that he definitely didn't seem to be in it for the money, although I'm sure he made money, and he was really there to connect with people, and that's what resonated with everybody, and that's why he became so beloved. And he was genuine, and he had a lot of charisma, and he really cared about teaching people how to paint, and the benefits of, and the self-confidence and everything that comes with being able to create your own picture and painting and learning and improving and all of those things. I'm happy to say Bob Ross can stay and remain, at least for me, in that kind of iconic, you know, pseudo pedestal of a, of a child icon, you know, child influence and a positive influence like folk, like individuals like Mr. Rogers and et cetera, et cetera. So it's nice to hear that he actually was authentic and genuine in real life as he was when you saw him on camera. However, Bob Ross Inc., uh, not so much. So again, these are my opinions. Uh, this is kind of what I'm choosing to do. I'm not gonna be purchasing any items that this company makes. Uh, although they claim to want to continue the likeness and the memories of Bob Ross, how could you do that in good faith and not include his son, um, who literally was on the show several times and it's documented that uh, Bob wanted to leave the, the whole business kind of to his son. Um, how could you in good conscience cut out, you know, part of who Bob was, which was his protege, essentially his son. So not a good situation. I'm really glad that the Netflix documentary um, exists. Thank you to Melissa McCarthy and her husband, I can't remember his name offhand, who produced the documentary. And I don't think they really went into it with any ill will or intentions. They just kind of uncovered what they uncovered. And, and now people know. And so the public opinion, that's, you know, you have the, the choice to spend your money where you want to. And, and a lot of people are choosing not to spend their money in that direction anymore. And so, you know, that company will have to who knows what they'll do. Uh, hopefully they'll do the right thing. But for me, what this means is that Bob Ross will continue to be one of my childhood positive influencing icons. Uh, and I'll just have to buy my breath mints elsewhere. So what do you think? Make sure you comment below. Let me know what you think. If you've seen the documentary or maybe after you see the documentary, what are your thoughts? Uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel, The Pop Enthusiast, where we get pop culture type videos like this, mainly we're around Funko Pops. Uh, but I, this, had, this is just something that had to be said, in my opinion. So I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Uh, if you agree, disagree, make sure to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.